when you're one step away from desperation, one step away from giving up, there's a mindset that really helped me, uh, pretty much kept me intact throughout the toughest times in my life, which I want to share with you today. That mindset is no matter how bad things are right now, the next book I read could potentially be the one that completely changes my life. Now, me being Israeli, uh, it, it's kind of different the way I, um, I think about it. You know, the word uh, language translation kind of changes, but the, the, the crux of it, the, the main part about this mindset is that whatever I'm facing right now, whether it's financial trouble, relationship trouble, physical trouble, health, it's probably due to a lack, of, a lack of knowledge. Or to be more precise, if I had the knowledge of how to get out of the situation, I would get out of that situation. And not only that, maybe there's knowledge that will take me 10 times higher than I am right now. So, you know, you might be handling with a couple thousand dollars in debt. Maybe the next book you read will launch you to making... 50k a month, making the previous problem completely obsolete. This was so key in so many parts of my life because I, I started feeling like everything was falling apart. Again, in uh, relationships that I held dear financially during tough times after making bad decisions, uh, in terms of being frustrated with not seeing accomplishments regarding health, fitness, I always knew that if I just stuck my head in books, you know, I'm not talking about when there's action to be done. I'm talking when you're near finish, like you, you, you don't know what to do, you, you want to quit. Remember that if you, there's something that if you knew it, you would be charging ahead like a bull. And that mindset is what prompted me to sit down and during times of tough, tough battles with life, read three, six, nine, twelve hours of books every day. I remember concealing myself in the library during the, my toughest times. I didn't even want to be seen by, by people, so I just went into libraries every single day and just sat in the library from morning till night reading, reading, and reading. And you know what? It actually works because when you're desperate and you're completely out of options and basically it's either, you know, <laughs> let's see what happens as it goes down uh, or let's kill myself or let's try to figure out a solution you really want to figure out a solution. So you tend to be much more keen with your eyes. So when you read books, you actually find the gems much better because most books are, you know, okay. Uh, most of them are, okay. first of all, most of them are shit. The ones you pick out of that, most of them will be okay and will, you know, maybe uh, be small contributions to your life. And then some very small part of books. For me, uh, I'm talking about like seven, eight, nine books in my whole life uh, will actually completely change your life. Uh, these kind of gem books. And they happen to fall on you during tough times. That's something I noticed. You, you don't usually see those books that will change your life. And again, you don't know wh which books will change your life. Your life. Um, they don't just come when, you're, when everything's good. They come when things are really, really bad and they come like a gift from heaven. 
and usually it's some author you never thought of reading but again because you're in this tough situation you are more flexible you'll be more likely to actually uh, go for some book like that and again because you're more desperate for information and to change your life you're going to start seeing connections where you previously haven't so if as you as you're seeing we actually took this quick video about the mindset that helped me and actually made it into a very cool um, uh, breakdown where we actually go from the smallest level of being desperate and we actually create hope through uh, just the small idea of reading books every day. Now, there's many more uh, ways to go about it. You know, some people I'm sure would tell you, well, whatever happens, uh, just, you know, take action and don't stop taking action. And some people tell you, just count your blessings, be grateful for what you have. This is how I personally faced it. And I found that it's really practical for people like me who are action people, who are kind of hot-headed, just do crazy stuff every day. Um, so, yeah, this was, this was absolutely um, life-changing for me, coming to this realization a few years ago and I highly recommend that you adopt it and again if you're going through that kind of period right now first of all you're not alone feel free to contact me and I'd be glad to help give you uh, the epiphany that you need to move forward uh, to the best of my abilities but again if you don't have uh, that, that courage or <laughs> to contact me or you just want to do it alone uh, again that mindset I just you know just put th putting your head into the books and realizing somebody wrote a book about your problem. Somebody wrote a book either directly, overtly about that problem or indirectly about facing such le such uh, uh, types of problems or even facing problems in general. Uh, you're going to find it there. You're going to find it sometimes in mythology, sometimes in a how-to book, sometimes in business books. Keep looking. Keep looking and you'll find it. And it's that one quote, that one paragraph or maybe even the entire book uh, that will give you a renewed sense of hope and you're going to push forward like a king and you're going to end up better than you were before the the bad thing happened to you. I can promise you that. Again, if you just reach that point where you get that epiphany and get seriously motivated to get the hell out of the situation you're in. So I hope this message helps you and uh, see you soon. <laughs>